Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. This is going to be part one of my Saturday morning beach walk in North Naples, Florida. Hopefully there's going to be a part two. Hopefully I'll have enough battery to do part two. But there's definitely part one here. I believe it's about 7.40 a.m. We're up at the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park, up by Wiggins Pass. Part of the namesake of the park. The sun coming up over the trees here, absolutely beautiful. Look at all this white sandy beach waiting for your toes up here. It's a little bit of a hike. The hike is getting shorter though now that parking lot number four has reopened. Nice little breeze coming in from the east. Hit that share button, please. Just one share per person would be awesome. Saw a nice sunrise this morning. Some nice colors with these clear skies. A beautiful glow. Absolutely gorgeous. I wish you were out here with me. I'm going to take a little stroll down the beach down towards Vanderbilt Beach. Walk that mile long beach in the park here. Just wanted to give you a peek at the pass. This is, we hung out here for, oh what, 30 minutes or so earlier this morning for my very first live feed. I do have some news to share with you about one of our friends. She called and it would be okay to share it, so I'm going to share that in my Dose of Delnor Wiggins video later today. So be sure to check back later for that. Boats coming in. I saw boats going out this morning. Now the boats are coming in already. Looks calm out there to me. Beautiful waning crescent moon this morning. That was beautiful. Can't get really good pictures of it with the iPhone. I shared a photo of it earlier this morning on my personal Facebook page. Oh, darn little piece of a tree branch. Oh, watch where I'm going. This place is going to get busy. Vanderbilt Beach is going to be packed. Remember when you come out to the beaches today, be respectful of others. Don't be blasting your music. Not everybody likes the same kind of music that you like. I know, it's hard to believe, right? No glass out on the beach. That should just be a no-brainer. No glass glass containers on the beach. Please, please, please fill in your holes, level your sandcastles. I don't care where you're at. That's just courtesy, common sense courtesy. Plus here, we don't need our little baby sea turtles that are hatching, getting stuck in any holes. So fill in your holes, level your sandcastles. Another no-brainer, pick up your trash. Why would you leave trash on the beach? Help us keep our beaches clean. If you see trash on the beach, pick it up. Remind others to do the same. Leave the beach the way you found it. There's only one thing you're supposed to leave at the beach when you go home. When you leave, 
You're supposed to leave only footprints. Leave only footprints. I have no idea what kind of bird that was. That was a weird sounding bird. You know what you're allowed to take home from the beach? There's one thing they recommend you take home from the beach. Memories. That's the old saying. It's take only memories, leave only footprints. Still have not heard what happened here. There was other morning, Thursday morning, I don't know, whatever, what morning it was, Wednesday morning, a car crashed through the gate, it was an SUV, and it came all the way up here to the north end of the park and was just sitting here running with the lights on, just sitting right here in this open bit of sand. No one to be found. It's very weird. idiots back in here. This part of the park is closed, by the way. The barriers got knocked down. Seams this morning were really, really wicked up there along the water. Up in Area Five this morning, I, w I mean, I was getting eaten alive. Our friend Mike got, was, got eaten alive. That's the worst they had been in a while. And I had my bug spray on. I didn't have my high power stuff on. I had my 40% DEET on. I didn't have my 90%. I usually put 90% on in the summertime when I know I'm going to be up there. It's just, I don't like doing it, but it's better than getting eaten up and carried away. Still itching from them. <laughs> ah, what the heck? What on earth is going on with the audio here? I got no idea. Facebook did another update. down by that water here in a minute get our first look good look at that water once that sun gets a little higher Who's wishing they were out here? Anybody wishing they were out here? Oh. 
my favorite tree in the park. You say, what is your favorite tree in the park? You should know what my favorite tree is. My favorite palm tree in the park. I used to have a beautiful gumbo limbo that was my favorite. In between areas three and four. There's my favorite tree in the park. The crooked palm tree. <laughs> it got pushed over years ago by a hurricane. And then it started uprighting itself. So it's got that curve in it there. The crooked palm tree in area five. There's all kinds of neat little things in this park. I miss the little walking trail that was off the beach back in behind the trees. Awfully quiet for a holiday weekend. Holy moly. I thought there'd be a lot of people making their way up to the pass by now. Granted, technically the park opens at 8, but normally they open a little earlier, especially, especially on holiday weekends to keep the congestion down at the front gate. some get up over the treetop so we can see what this water looks like should be looking pretty darn nice Just getting some little strips of sunlight here and there right now. I'm guessing this would be Area Roy right here. This opening. <laughs> Good old Area Roy, the north end of parking lot four. Bad Bob. Can't wait to see old Bad Bob next week. Always fun hanging with Bad Bob. Let's see if we can get down to the Naples Pier. See what's cooking down there. Maybe go down there for a sunset or something. Speaking of sunset, we haven't been out on a Thursday evening sunset cruise for a little while. Been slow. If you'd like to join us on board Boat Naples for that special Thursday evening Southwest Florida television sunset cruise, visit their website, BoatNaples.com. Check out everything they have to offer, then give them a call. Ask them about our Thursday evening cruise. That's something very special. You're not going to find that on their website. 
Right now in the summertime, it's $40 per person. It includes complimentary beer and wine and a slunch of Irish whiskey sunset toast. Quality time with me. So there's your $40 worth right there. And of course, a beautiful Southwest Florida sunset. What more could you ask for? Check them out, BoatNaples.com. Be sure to mention Southwest Florida Television. That water's not looking too shabby. Uh, that sun, when that sun gets up a little higher, it'll look even better. Come on, son. Do your thing. <laughs> Mr. Sunshine. Holes on the beach. You can tell when you're getting by one of the parking lots here, you start seeing holes on the beach. The hole diggers. Fill in your doggone holes, people. My friend Gary was out here the other day. A lot of you may remember Gary. He used to sit up in the skybox with his green tea. <laughs> he was back. Back in that spot where the skybox was. Got a little shade there in the morning. It's the north end of parking lot three. Such a glorious morning here in paradise. Like a, maybe a couple of white ibises up here. Maybe a few of them heading up the beach doing their little ibis thing. Undecided, splitting up, scattering around. <laughs> Where he is going? Why is running away? Nothing to be afraid of, oh. I see why they're running. Remember whose beach this is. It's the birds' beach. It's nature's beach, not our beach. Give the birds their space. Go around them. Be polite. Be courteous to our wildlife. Respect our wildlife. Respect our beaches. But they're running up on the beach. They don't want to stay down by the water. Huh.
It's going to be a lot of partying going on at the beach today. Hopefully people will keep things under control. It's the littering that's really the big problem. Sometimes it's heartbreaking to see the beach in the morning on holiday after, you know, a holiday. Tomorrow morning's they're going to have quite a few volunteers here at the park picking up trash on the beach. If you'd like to help out, contact Friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. The more folks they have in their bucket brigade, the better. Let's keep this beach clean and beautiful. get out in that water just step out into it here once I find a nice patch of sunlight get a good look at it the best we can for now anyway let you see what you're in what's in store for you if you're heading out here this morning Sun still needs to get higher up in the sky. Need more of a downward angle on this water here, but you can see it's pretty nice. Pretty nice already. Wow. take a little break here in a few minutes hopefully I got enough battery to come back and do at least a short another live feed maybe down a little walk on Vanderbilt Beach we'll see if I don't see you later it means I don't have enough battery <laughs> You know, I get out here. I leave the house at, oh, between 4.30 and 4.45 in the morning. So I'm out on this beach, oh, for a good hour and a half or so before I go live for the first time for daybreak. It's early morning colors. So I've been snapping photos and texting and doing all kinds of things, running my battery down before I start my live feeds. Shame on me. There was some kind of weather, some disturbances or something. They were keeping one, especially they're keeping an eye on out in the Atlantic. Hopefully that won't turn into anything, keeping our fingers crossed. That's the last thing we need. September though, it's like September seems like it's been the bad time. The bad month for us. Good morning, great. Good morning, beautiful morning. 
hope it stays that way. <laughs> yeah. It's quiet so far, my friends. Quiet, quiet. That's a good sign. A little snowy egret hopping around there. Remember, check back later for my Saturday morning dose of Del Norwegian's video. I've got some news to share about one of our friends with you. White Ibis. Doing their Ibis thing up the beach towards Williams Pass. Coming up to parking lot two and still kind of quiet. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. everybody decided to stay home today wouldn't that be sweet go to a park go to a community park and have a picnic instead of coming to the beach hmm. wouldn't that be something i don't think that's the case hey, if i don't do another live feed if i don't see you later here this morning be sure to check back for a couple videos i'll go down to Vanderbilt Beach, take a look down there, see what it looks like. Man, this place is super quiet. Super duper quiet. boat heading down south there moving right along Super quiet here. Super quiet. I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it.
Get out here now. Get out here now. Get in your car now and come to Del Nor Wiggins. It's not gonna last long. Dolphin just popped up here. I heard it. Oh, they're, they're dolphins. <laughs> Wow. Amazingly quiet. All right, my friends, I'm going to take a little break down by parking lot one here. As you can see, we're getting off to a quiet Labor Day weekend start here in the park. Hallelujah. Nobody's complaining about that. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being a friend. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Remember, it's that time of the month. Tips usually appreciated. All them bills are piling up. I do depend on your support to make ends meet. So if you appreciate my efforts, think about sending a little tip now and then. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. You can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay. If you're a Zelle person, just message me on Facebook, on my personal Facebook, and I'll give you that info. And of course, Facebook stars, consider maybe subscribing to my Southwest Florida television Facebook page. That would be sweet. But above all, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a friend. God bless you. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Have an awesome Labor Day holiday. Tally-ho, everyone. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, your friends, your fur babies, everything and everyone in your lives. And God bless this wonderful, beautiful, and amazing country that I call home. I love it here. God bless America. Tally-ho. Tally-ho.